I've decided it is much better to expose my weaknesses early in my life to a handful of people that really care about me than to risk one day being publicly exposed in front of people who could care less. Matter of fact, they might be secretly delighted if Jeannie Mayo hit the dust. I call them identifying your baby dragons. What are the baby dragons in your life that the enemy would love to let slowly grow? You know, pound or an ounce at a time. Again, it can be attitude, action. Remember, I say it all the time, a hungry need is a dangerous need. So right now, I know that I have a hungry need uh, because Sam Mayo certainly remains my best friend, but he can no longer talk to me. And when, when you've gone two years without any communication with the person who is your soulmate, oh, the loneliness. And I, and I hope this doesn't bother you. We had a very healthy marriage, but it's not the intimacy of the bedroom that though we were very beautifully blessed there, that was not, that's not what I cry at night not having. I cry at night because I don't have the guy who can finish my sentences anymore. And I have to say to the Lord, I journaled on the plane here, saying to the Lord, a hungry need is a dangerous need. And it's not like I'm worried that I'm gonna do something weird with some man. I'm just saying, wait a minute, I've gotta be aware that Lord, I've gotta make you, I've gotta make you even more than before, ground zero for even understanding who Jeannie is, for finishing my sentences. Or that becomes a, a baby dragon that can gain weight. And, and, and then I become a self-centered slob that just feels sorry for me because nobody hears me all the way or gets me or all that baloney. And, and another one of my dragons, those of you in Qatar heard me say it all the time, it's the disease to please. And now that I don't have my biggest cheerleader, Sam Mayo did tell me, 20 times a day, you're the greatest woman in the world. I love you more than anybody because he's my greatest cheerleader and I was his greatest and we, I still am his. The bottom line is, gosh, if I'm not careful, that disease to please, I yearn for it from other places so I can walk off so many platforms and feeling like, oh, I just bombed. And, and, and it becomes too big of a deal to please here rather than saying, I just gave up my best shot, Jesus. And if you know that, I guess we're okay. What are the baby dragons in your life? That if you let them go unchecked, have the possibility an ounce at a time of beginning to choke out whatever your words are. 